Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sanda. Welcome back to our series of boosting your immune system. Uh, we're going down the list here. Institute of Functional Medicine put out a botanical recommendation for patients. If you'd like to get a copy, go to orasana.com. Next on the list is melatonin. And a lot of you might say, why melatonin? It's something for sleep. What you might not know is that melatonin is a very potent antioxidant, anti-cancer. And unfortunately, because today a lot of us have so much light at home, especially blue light, it's a killer of natural melatonin production for our own sleep. So that's why it's important that when you go to bed at night in your room, you don't have any blue light. Sometimes chargers can have blue light and that will basically cut down on the production of your melatonin and your body won't get the benefit of the antioxidant capacity that melatonin has. Uh, make sure you don't have any night lights, your TV is not on. The darker it is in your room, the better it is for your natural melatonin production. But if you'd like to take some supplemental melatonin, studies have shown that uh, supplementing daily with melatonin, it's very important for your immune health, for the antioxidant level. So. Uh, the recommendation in the paper uh, natural uh, uh, from the Institute of Functional Medicine is to take about 5 to 20 milligrams of melatonin daily. One of my mentors that I very much admire, who has done a lot of research on melatonin, he is actually taking up to 160 milligrams daily of melatonin. You cannot overdose on it, not to worry. And uh, you know, my husband and my favorite way to take melatonin is actually melatonin gummies. Um, one of these is actually five milligrams, but they're so delicious and they're sweetened with natural fruit juice that even if you, you know, it's easy to have like five or 10 of them right before you go to bed. But definitely you can have melatonin at any time throughout the day. You don't have to have it at night. For some people actually it doesn't really have a sleepiness effect. Uh, of course, there is like tablets of melatonin and one milligram, five milligrams. And if you're wondering, wow, I've never taken melatonin before, how should I start? I would recommend you start with one milligram at night and see how you feel. I am not so crazy about tablets because a lot of people say, you know, when you take tablets at night, you can feel groggy in the morning. And I believe the reason why that is, is because the tablet does not dissolve. So basically by the time it dissolves, it's time for you to wake up and you might feel groggy. But when you take something like melatonin gummies or a syrup in a liquid form, you're gonna notice that you don't have that problem of feeling groggy in the morning. Uh, tart cherry concentrate, and this is actually a tart cherry concentrate without any added sugar. And this is a natural melatonin that it contains from those tart cherries. So what you can do is add two tablespoons in a glass of water and drink that before you go to bed. Uh, great way to take melatonin. But definitely, I highly recommend that you start taking melatonin, not just for a viral infection and your antioxidant capacity, but also it's a very good anti-cancer uh, prevention. If you have any questions or comments about melatonin, comment below and come back to see us next week with more tips on how to boost your immune system. See you soon. Hi, I'm Dr. Sanda. If you have any questions or comments or you'd like to see any videos, please mark them below and don't forget to subscribe.